Hello and welcome to a new video of the JavaFX8 tutorial and well today's video will be about the context menu okay so let's start okay so here we have the, the first slide and well in order to create a context menu we are going to use the context menu class okay and then we're gonna build or create the menu items or submenus if, the, if that is the case okay so then we have two ways to call or to activate this context menu the first one is uh, by using the set context menu uh, method uh, and then we need to pass the context menu that we have created okay so this set context menu method it's only available for controls and almost all the controls has this this uh, set context menu method okay so if if we have a node that is not a control, for example, a shape, uh, in this example we have a text node, we need to add at least an event handler. Okay, we need to add an event handler to this node in order to, um, to display this context menu when clicking on, the, on this uh, node. Okay, so let's go to NetBeans. Okay. Well, uh, here's the code that we're going to use in order to explain this uh, context menu. We have a root node and then we have two nodes. We have the, a text field which is a control okay, and then we have a text node. The text node uh, comes from a shape, okay, from the class shape. Okay, so all this text node uh, it won't have uh, a set context menu method. Okay. So in order to build a context menu, we need to uh, create a context menu object with the class context menu, okay? And then we are gonna add items or menu items inside uh, to this con inside this context menu, the same as we uh, the same way as we did uh, when creating the menu uh, menus inside the menu bar. It's the same. We can use menu items here. We have three. Okay, three menu items. We can use radio menu item, check menu items, custom menu items, okay, even separators if we want. In the same way, we have created the, the menus in the menu bar. Okay, as you can see here, we have uh, this uh, context uh, object, this context menu object, it has this method, get items, and then the add all, and then we can add the the menu items inside of it okay so here's the important part here in order to display a method when we are using a control we need to use uh, for the field we are going to use the set context menu and we're gonna pass the context menu okay so when I'm gonna show you the result we have here the text field and when we right click on this text field we're gonna display this context menu that we have created Okay, the only thing you need to do is to define the actions that are going to take place when clicking on these options. Okay. 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 Well, and then we have uh, here we are going to set the context menu for this text node, this one that we can see here. Okay. So in order to do that, we need to add an event handler. Okay that will display this menu, this context menu, when clicking, when right clicking on the on the on the node. Okay, so in order to do that we need to use the add event handler method. Then we're gonna pass this to uh, these two values here. The first one is an event event type uh, and we are going to use the mouse event and then we're gonna select one of these uh, these events here okay so we have uh, selected mouse click so this means that when we click and release a button of the mouse something will happen we are going to uh, you know to manage or to manage this event okay so we have another uh, events as well you know uh, you know the drag event uh, when we move the mouse uh, over the, the node, we can you know, manage or handle this event as well. Okay, so in this case, mouse click, and then we're gonna add an event handler here, 
and inside of it we have this handle method and in this inside this method we're gonna you know specify what happens when we are clicking on this node okay in this case we need to get uh, make sure that we are that we are right clicking the uh, on the on the node so we are gonna use this uh, if here uh, we're getting the, the button that we have clicked uh, in our mouse and if it is the same as the secondary button as you can see here mouse button then we have options okay primary secondary middle if it is the same as the secondary we're gonna use this line of code with the object the context menu we're gonna use the method show and then we are going to uh, pass the, the the node that we want to you know to assign this context menu and then the position where this context menu will appear so in this case when we right click in just just in the place that we click uh, the context menu will appear okay the same context menu that we use for this text field okay so obviously the the click should be over the the node the area of the node in order to display this context menu okay if we left click nothing will happen only if we right click uh, this context menu will will appear so i just want to show you that we have different options of this show method okay and we have this sorry we have four options okay second and they are here okay so we can use you know, uh, one of these four options and uh, well they are um, uh, they only have a different you know uh, values to pass in order to define the uh, the owner of this uh, context menu and define the position that we are gonna we're going to display this context menu and the alignment as well. Okay. Well, so that's it for the context menu. I hope you find it useful and see you next time. Thank you for watching this video and please don't miss the next one because we are going to review how to create and use list views. Okay. So please like, subscribe and share and see you next time.